So, for a very long time, we have always suspected that certain governments around the world may or may not be involved with human cloning. So first things first, what are we talking about here? We are talking about something that we have believed to be off the table as part of international restrictions. Come to find out that there is no real enforcement of such policies and in locations around the world we constantly hear of such experiments. We are constantly told that they want to genetically modify us. They want to mix us with technology. They want a cyborg race, a cloned race. Why? Because why not? They are controlled by a force that has been doing this since the inception of man. It is a force to be reckoned with, but not unstoppable. They just want our souls. You know, I have this strange feeling that one day soon, human cloning will become totally legal. Now, how would that be accomplished? Well, think about this. If for some strange reason a massive number of people were to become sterile and the population of children begin to dramatically decrease, how much do you want to bet that people would be all for cloning if it meant that people could continue to procreate. We have to save humanity by cloning the people while we still can. This is going to be the argument. Just like they were able to get all these people to take an experimental substance, they can easily convince those same people to clone humans. I have no confidence in those people anymore. Anyway, see, they already have the science down. They are just waiting for the public to accept the science. They have been telling us what they had worked on in the past. You think it's brand new? No. Whatever they show you that they say is a new breakthrough is a lie. It's not new. It's just for public consumption so you don't find out that they've already gone all the way. They've been doing this underground and on islands Ever seen the movie The Island of Dr. Moreau? Well, that was fiction. The truth, of course, is much stranger. You have no idea what they have concocted with their experiments. How about a humanoid arthropod? Basically a lobster man. You think I'm joking? Keep thinking that. That's exactly the type of thing to make someone roll their eyes and say, Oh God, you believe they're making lobstermen, Woodward? Really? Well, let me just lay it out for you like this. Ever hear of stories about insectoid aliens? I'm sure many of you have seen drawings of these creatures. Some look like a mantis. Some look like, like lobster or crab people. A humanoid arthropod. You take the genetics of a human and an insect, and with that, you can create a body. Just an empty vessel. Just a pile of flesh, really. Then, it can be brought to life by having it be possessed by something that does not have a body. Did you know they can take human blood and human tissue and make eggs out of them? We? Oui? What? Yes. Scientists create immature human eggs from stem cells. And there are other articles on this story. Just look at that evil. Scientists say they have taken a potentially important and possibly controversial step toward creating human eggs in a lab dish. A team of Japanese scientists turned human blood cells into stem cells, which they 
then transformed into very immature human eggs. The eggs are far too immature to be fertilized or make a baby, and much more research would be needed to create the eggs that could be useful and safe for human reproduction. Well, this article was written a few years ago. How far have they come now? And you see, they always try to downplay what they're doing. It's just an immature egg. It's not a whole egg. It's just a cell. It's not a whole human. It's just an organ. It's not a whole human. What's the big deal? But the work reported Thursday in the journal Science is seen by other scientists as an important development. For the first time, scientists have been able to convincingly demonstrate that we are able to make eggs, very immature eggs, says Amanda Clark, a developmental biologist at UCLA who wasn't involved in the research. Oh, they weren't involved in the research? I, I guess they're safe now. The technique might someday help millions of people suffering from infertility because of cancer treatments or other reasons, Clark says. You, you see, I told you. I told you they already know what to say. So, what do you think, guys? You think there are clones among us? I mean, you hear it all the time about celebrities and politicians. All the time. Constantly. Yeah, it's considered entertainment, along with those same people being reptilians and shapeshifters. That would make them reptilian shapeshifting clones. You know, they make it a point to tell you guys that this has never been achieved, and any claims that it has been achieved are probably false. See, they think you're stupid. They want you to think that such experimentation would only exist in the government sector, and only the government has the resources and authority to do so. When we know very well that private companies outperform the government constantly, that's why they are always trying to take over an already established company. First clone baby born on 26th of December. This was in December 27th, 2002. So this got into the news quick. So this is crazy. Let me tell you. Even if people go around saying that they have achieved human cloning, the government says that you shouldn't believe them. It's just a hoax even though they at the same time say human cloning is possible. So have this make sense. The world's first clone baby was born on 26th of December, claims the Bahamas-based cloning company, CloneAid. But there has been no independent confirmation of the claim. The girl, named Eve by the cloning team, was said to have been born by Caesarean section at 1155 Eastern. The birth at the undisclosed location went very well, said Bridget Boisler, president of CloneAid. The company was formed in 1997 by the Raelian cult, which believes people are clones of aliens. The baby is very healthy. She is doing fine. Boisler told a press conference in Hollywood, Florida on Friday, the seven-pound baby is a clone of a 31-year-old American woman whose partner is infertile, she said. Proving that the baby is a clone of another person would be possible by showing that their DNA is identical. Genetic tests on the baby and mother will now be carried out and the results will be available in eight or nine days, Boisner said. It doesn't really matter because most people on the planet, their genetic code is almost identical. So she told reporters, you can still go back to your office and treat me as a fraud. You have one week to do that. Boiselier added that Michael Julian, science editor at ABC News and a former Harvard University mathematician, will carry out the genetic test. So let's check out this company. Here we are. CloneAid, pioneers in human cloning. Welcome to our website. Please feel free to browse our site and learn more about what we are about. Sure. Services. CloneAid is the world's leading provider of reproductive human cloning services. Eve, 
The first clone baby was born December 26, 2002, thanks to our team of highly skilled scientists. Since then, we've been able to help a number of patients have their own children through our cloning technology. Clone Aid can help you if you're sterile and have lost hope of having the child you dream of. If you're homosexual and deeply desire a child who would carry your own genes. If you just lost or about to lose a beloved family member and would like to see an identical twin of that person begin a new life. If you're HIV positive and want to have a child that would be your genetic twin without infecting either the baby or your partner with the virus. If you simply want to be cloned, whatever your reasons may be. Well, there you have it. Here's an overview of the process steps. Contact form. Representatives contact you to discuss the situation and goals. Medical team will evaluate your case. Center. Over the next several weeks, the donor cells will be optimized for nuclear transfer. We then retrieve eggs from either the patient or an egg donor. After several days, the clone embryo will be implanted in the patient's womb or that of the surrogate mother. The patient or surrogate mother will carry the fetus to term through a normal nine month pregnancy. The baby, a genetic twin or clone of the cell donor, will be delivered in a new human life that of the desired child will begin. Okay. Let's look at the history. The first human cloning company in the world was founded in February 1997 by Rail and a group of investors who created the Valiant Venture LTD Corporation based in the Bahamas. The first couple of years, Clone Aid has already received enormous media coverage. However, due to the pressure mounted on the Bahamas government by French journalists, Valiant Venture LTD was canceled as government representatives were thinking the laboratories would be established on the Bahamas island. Meanwhile, the list of serious potential customers had grown to more than 250 people. I don't doubt that. Therefore, during the year 2000, Rail decided to hand over the Clone Aid project to Dr. Bridget Boisler, a Raelian bishop, in order for her to start working on actually cloning the first human being with a team of well trained scientists. Dr. Boisler has PhD degrees in physical and biomolecular chemistry. In her last job, she was marketing director for a large chemical company in France. In the summer of 2000, an American couple that wanted to help develop the technology in order for them to have a baby contacted Dr. Boisler. They were the first major investors funding the equipment and the laboratory needed. And Clonade's first human cloning laboratory was set up in early 2001. In the summer of 2001, following several visits from U.S. government representatives in our facilities, Clonade decided to pursue its human cloning project in another country where human cloning is legal. Wow. And I guess the uh, technology they're using is uh, embryonic cell fusion, the new RMX 2010. Okay, the, I guess this is technology you can go research. They have a facts section, which is not very large. It basically answers the question, who is this for? I guess it's for anyone willing to participate, really. Anyone with the money to dump into such a thing that can guarantee that they are going to have privacy in that type of matter. And you have some contact information. And that's about it. It seems very private uh, for a website. It is kind of what I would expect. Something not that commercial. And uh, all I have to say is, wow, this is just one company of out of how many that exist, some of which are probably so private you wouldn't know they did exist. If you try to research this company and what they have accomplished, as far as I know, at least 13 claims of children clones as of 2004, and you will get caught in a loop of information with no conclusion. So who knows what's coming out of those labs except the people involved. 
not to mention the reports of failed attempts made by this company. $200,000 a clone, when it can cost a couple of million to clone an animal like a dog. Watch out, folks. They are systematically trying to condition you for this. They really want you to get used to the idea. Meanwhile, in locations around the world, outside of our knowledge, they're creating a whole army of pig warriors. We have to come back to this, of course, and I will probably put the next discussion about this up on the website. I am making changes to the website to make it more user friendly and to make sure all the bugs are fixed and ironed out. And I want to thank everyone who has visited the website and supported it. So until next time, be sure to visit woodwardentertainment.com and the Woodward Entertainment Store. And as always, my fellow natural humans, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon.